Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you a great klezmer tune, medium tempo, called Dem Revan's Tense. <laughs> Now this tune, which has a, was a request from C. Beardsworth, is uh, known as either a Hosiddle or a Nigun. And um, both are terms which have slightly different meanings. A Hosiddle is basically a Hasidic tune. A Nigun is a, a wordless song. So um, these were very religious in intent and the idea of having no words was that they could be sung forever, <laughs> never stop. And uh, not having words but being sung meant that you uh, used a syllable, something like ya da 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 And when you get uh, a dozen blokes doing this together in unison, um, it sounds absolutely great. It sounds like a football chant but in the fragish mode. And uh, when I see um, Huddersfield Town, uh, 10,000 people, because we don't get <laughs> very big, <laughs> don't get very big crowds at Huddersfield. When I see them singing uh, Yadadai in the Fragish mode, that will be my life uh, completed. But that's not likely to happen. But anyway, um, so these tunes are designed to be sung. They're designed to go on for a long time. They are always at a medium tempo, so they're not like flashy tunes. Um, if you want to learn more about the Nigun or the Hosiddle, then do see my book, um, Exploring Plasma Fiddle, which has a lot of background and other examples of this kind of tune. Um, this was taken from, originally from the playing of Leon Schwartz, who was a New York fiddle player, one of the last surviving from the early 20th century. And uh, there's a great recording of this I learned it from, from Dinaya Capella. So that's well worth listening to. And they have uh, a, a fair sized band playing it and they do the singing. Um, the singing works best incidentally on the first section. It gets a bit trickier after that. And if you've never tried singing and playing at the same time, then this is a great one to do it on. But anyway, um, let's first of all just look at the Fragish mode. I do have a video all about this. It's also called the Ahavaraba. So in the key of A. or in lower octave so uh, check out that uh, video if you're interested in learning more about this mode we're starting off um, with uh, on the open string and a lot of separate bows which I do all slightly detaché but that's probably not necessary fingering for this. So it's three, two, one. one. Open, one, two. Let's try that. One, two, one, two, three, four. string E drones on that which are very effective and I also did a crafts on the B flat so that's a B flat note ending with the fourth finger just flicking lightly down somewhere around E flat but the actual note is not heard and I do have a video all about the crafts which is a very useful uh, ornament for klezmer let's just try that A section with the backing
We then have what I think is sometimes called a stop chorus, which just really means that you, you play a note and stop. And uh, this is possibly to do with banging your fist on the table whilst you're singing this, but I'm not really sure about that. Um, so it goes... And you could do an open E drone with this. And also, uh, I find stamping my foot with this is really useful. Uh, I've got slippers on, so it's not going to make a lot of noise, but it does help to give you the plodding feel of this. B section, the C section um, starts with another string of notes. So again, down at the heel, I'm just lifting off ever so slightly. But if you didn't, I think it, it's not quite as effective, but try and lift off if you can. Here I'm doing the crepts on the F natural. That's not absolutely essential. Uh, so that's the um, C section, the D section. I notice I'm putting an emphasis on da 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 da. That is where you will be stamping your foot on the da 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 So let's go through all of those four sections with the backing. Fine on there. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. If you would like a copy of the sheet music, then do subscribe and send me an email. Uh, as I said before, this is one of the tunes in my book Exploring Klezmer Fiddle. And um, I will play out, and this time I will sing along with the A section. Um, Try to think not of just me sitting here, but as I suggested, uh, a whole load more blokes. Um, and you'll get some idea of the excitement of this kind of tune when you're singing, both singing and playing it. And if you were, for example, doing a workshop, teaching this to someone else, then to a group of people, then if you could get them all singing, then they would certainly remember this tune. <laughs> and everyone else who was passing by would also remember it. So do give that some consideration. I'll see you again soon.